Good morning, guys. It kind of feels weird to film right now because I went so long without filming a vlog. It, it just feels odd right now. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope you guys had a wonderful time during the holidays. I hope anyone that was able to see family did and got to enjoy it. I got to see a little bit of mine for a short amount of time, so it was really nice. Also took a little bit of time off so I could kind of relax and just kind of decompress because it's been kind of busy and it's going to start getting busy again. Anyways, other than that, I have a few extra kind of random projects for today because I picked up some stuff. I also got a new little thing to help me film tutorials. Let me show you guys real quick. I ended up getting a little arm attachment for the desk so that I don't have to have this bad boy always in the way because it gets a little bit cramped over in this corner. So I got this so I could hang my camera over what I'm filming when I'm doing tutorials. It may not work for vlogs because it doesn't go super high, but it works perfect for filming on the desk. So yeah, this was like maybe 20 bucks and I'm excited to test it out. I actually haven't connected the camera to it yet. And one project I need to get done is I've got a bunch of wood over here and I also got sandpaper and a saw and I'm gonna be making a bunch of little uh, little panels to paint on. So I ended up just getting a tiny bit so I could do some small practice ones and I think most of them are going to be 4 by 6s and then I have some of the ones down here, the thicker ones, cut to be 5 by 7s So I need to cut all of those up. I'm not sure if I want to do that now or probably later in the day. Honestly with how messy they are, we'll probably do them last. But yeah, I ended up doing that, getting my saw. The only thing I didn't get was gesso. I forgot to order it with some of my other paint supplies that are on the way. So I think for now, since we're just going to be vlogging, I'm gonna take this arm off. I'll leave the little connection thingy, but right now the arm is kind of in the way. I need to put this somewhere, and then we will, I think we're gonna start doing a little bit of painting. So what I need to get painted are these little guys. These are the heads to a commissioned Cerberus that I'm doing, and they're basically painted almost all the way. Um, what I need to do is I need to add some glow-in-the-dark paint over all the green bits. That way they glow in the dark. <laughs> I thought it'd be a fun little detail. Also, it has a few little spikes we'll paint as well. The reason the green is already painted before putting the glow in the dark on is because I won't get a, like a neon green from this. It's just going to be kind of a pale green. So I figured uh, painting them the color I want and then just lightly going over them would work better. That way they actually look green when they're not glowing in the dark. So I haven't used this in a while so I probably need to shake this up because it looks like it's separated a little bit. Can you make room? First to start. I think I'm gonna start on the spikes first. Finally got the paint mixed. It actually took a while to get it all mixed up. Just gonna go over these. I might do like two, maybe three coats just so that I know that it'll actually glow. Um, because sometimes this can be a little bit weak if you don't put enough layers on. Unfortunately, this paint also takes forever to dry, so we might have to like come back to this after a bit. So, um, like I said, I actually took some time off. I normally don't do that, but uh, Michael had to take some holiday off because otherwise it would have gone away, so he decided to do it before Thanksgiving. That way we could stay home together for two weeks before going over to family, just to be extra safe because I've got older parents and stuff, so it was nice to do that. I got to spend some extra time with him, play games. Other than that, I did a little bit of oil paints, but I didn't do as much as I wanted to because I still had commissions that I was working on, so it kind of like took a lot of half days. That way I was still getting work done, but uh, I could actually enjoy him being home. So it was definitely nice. Definitely nice to have not had such a crazy schedule. Also, I'm going to try and do more oil painting because I just haven't uh, been investing the time into it and I figured maybe when I have a little bit of downtime at night, I can do some small ones. That's why I decided to get all the wood. I also got a little bit of unstretched canvas. I'm going to cut into tiny pieces and use that for practice because I don't really like practice much and I feel like I need to start doing that instead of just painting elaborate paintings and being like, oh, I don't know how to do this and I hate this part of the painting. Instead, I can actually like practice the things that 
I kind of don't do well at painting because there's a lot of stuff that I would like to dive into, a lot of really detailed work, but there's also a lot of things I just don't know how to paint and I need to practice. Okay, I'm gonna let these dry for a little bit and then we'll go over them again. Oh, I almost forgot. There's a lot of stuff here now, but I did actually have this cleaned off. <laughs> like, there's a lot less up here. Uh, most of this is because I uh, obviously have the wood here in the way. Um, I bought the little arm thing, so there are extra bits like that. And then some of the wood I actually found at the trash, so they were like screwed together. So like I have the screws and like the little hooks and stuff because I figured I could turn some of the extra wood that I'm not using into um, like a shelf or something decorative. I have a few ideas for it, but I need to figure out where to hang this. The reason this little guy is over here is because I'm trying to wall mount stuff. It's a little dark in here. I'll turn some light on. It's a little of a red tone, but I'm adding little hooks like right there. And then one is right up here. And the reason for that, I have these lights I have one up here that I'm using because we're vlogging, but I have two of these and I use those when I paint. And I don't want to have tripods all over the place, so I'm going to end up uh, wall mounting them. And then I'm also going to wall mount these eventually because having these tripods, I've tripped on these tripods so many times and almost broke everything in here. But uh, these are going to be a little bit more expensive. Ooh, it's really out of focus. But as I was saying, those lights are going to be um, a little bit more expensive to wall mount because of how heavy they are. I'm gonna have to get actual professional hooks to mount them to the wall. Um, they're looking like they're gonna be, I think at lowest I can probably get is like 26 a piece, so it's $60 to wall mount them. So I'm gonna deal with wall mounting the lights for filming my oil paintings first, and then we'll wait and see if we have some money for these. Um, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll find something cheaper to use, but right now it's between like spending 26 to $60 on just one mount, so th yeah, depending on how I want to mount them. My biggest thing is I don't want to get rid of the tripods because I'm worried about tripping over them and breaking a light just to wall mount these things improperly and then them fall off the walls and they break, so <laughs> I want to do it right. I'm going to finish these, I'm waiting for them to dry, and then I've got another project for the uh, Northern Lights cat that we're going to do. We need to make the stars for those, so while these are drying, let me pull everything out. I don't need all of the fabric, but I do need this here so I can get an idea of how many to make. Because I don't think we'll make stars um, on the rest of the body, just in the Northern Lights bit. My idea is to take some fishing line, because it's still kind of thick. It's thick enough to actually hold up. Cut maybe like three inch pieces, maybe a little longer. We'll end up gluing them into the fur after they're done. But what I'm gonna do is at the tip of them, I'm gonna take my 3D glow in the dark paint and put it at the very tip to make a glow in the dark little star at the end of the wire, or not the wire, the fishing line. So uh, that's what we're gonna start next. So let me move all this away. It's just gonna take a while to dry, so we might as well just start this. Oh, if anyone was wondering, the reason my little bean succulent isn't up here isn't because it died. Um, it's in the other window. I repotted it and everything, and I figured there's more light over there, so it's kind of doing better. So it won't be in this window. Uh, we'll probably find something else. I'm currently trying to save a mint plant, so if that decides to uh, survive, we'll probably have some ivy or something over here. Just in case anyone was worried about little bean, he is okay. Oh, if I have enough time, we can uh, do a varnishing of a painting. The little tiny painting from yesterday's video, if you guys hadn't seen it yet, I did a little like story time about how I rescued a little baby dove, and I did a painting of their baby photo that I had. But uh, yeah, I posted that yesterday, and I have the painting, and it's finally like to that point where it's safe to varnish, so we can varnish that. I need to find a place to hang that as well. Okay, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> I'm pretty much trying to wait for the hot glue to harden so I can let go, because otherwise they're just gonna fall. Okay, I got all of our stars put on, and now I just need to let them dry. So I think I'm gonna take a small lunch break, find something to eat, 
and then we'll get back to working on something else. I think he got cold. Okay, so I'm back from lunch break. Just got something small. Don't really have a whole lot in the house because I need to order groceries again because it's never ending when it comes to buying food. Uh, Axel was ran out. We both did not enjoy that because of how cold it was, but we put up with it. <laughs> now, I think we're going to start cutting this. I'm going to start with a thinner one just because I think it'll be easier to work with. And I need to get the saw set up because I haven't opened it yet and the saw is basically on backwards for safety reasons. So, let me get this all adjusted and then we can start cutting that. Okay, finally figured it out and now we can start using it. I think I should be fine with just doing it here as long as I keep it like not over the actual desk. Hmm. Do I put anything heavy on this so that it doesn't move? Okay, the only heavy thing I have is the other wood project I have. I just need to be careful not to scratch it. This is the box that I've been putting off sanding. Now that I have sandpaper, I can probably start back up on it now. Okay, I'm still gonna probably like hold it and be really careful. There we go, okay. You know what? I should probably put a towel down so I don't have the dust get all over my rug. Hold on. Luckily, I have a towel here that I was using for when I was doing that. <laughs> okay, so I got one off, and I've got a little bit I need to cut off here, but I think I'm going to wait till I get all of them cut apart first. Um, I figure it'd be easier that way. But yeah, the reason I'm cutting it like this is because I thought this was six, but apparently when you order wood or pick up wood at the hardware store and it says six wide, it means five and a half wide. <laughs> Not sure why, but that's why I got six because I thought I could cut it into lengths of four so I could have a bunch of six by fours. But I could still get six by fours, but I'm getting a whole lot less than if this was a half inch wider. So I'll remember that next time I order or pick up wood because I planned on having a lot more out of this. But... I'm still getting like eight, so that's not bad. Okay, so I got a few of the panels cut out. I think I'm gonna call it good for now on the sawing. I wanna get that painting resin, so I'm gonna do that real quick. And then before the end of the day, sometime before the end of the day, I need to get a bunch of things resined. So I'm gonna work on that. So I got the little painting up here, and I'm gonna make sure everything is dust free and we're gonna varnish this. Okay, so I got my plastic, my painting, my varnish, and my big brush. So this will take literally no time at all. It's so cute. But yeah, it's completely dry. And I don't need a whole lot, luckily, because I'm almost out of varnish. I'm just gonna put a tiny, tiny bit right there. That should be plenty. I didn't paint around the edges of the canvas for this one because it's so tiny that I think I'll just get it framed. So I just didn't bother with that. Actually, if I wanted to, I could put this in a frame that I have another painting in if I wanted to move things around. Okay guys, like I said, I think that's going to be it for today. I do still have a bunch of other work, but I'm just going to do it off camera because I just want to get it done really fast. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!